have this is complete crap, this table. No! Yeah, it really is. It's carved. There's nothing carved about well, it. That was, this is done with a Sharpie. No. Yeah, no, this yes. was done by craftsmen. Craftsmen. An old craftsman in Burbank somewhere. Yeah. You might want to get that check back. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. How are, okay, what, first what? of all. Oh, really? You wrote me this note. I always write a note to you when so you're peeing nice on the show. Which is so nice of you, but then I thought... Is this from a third grader? I was in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. now, I mean, it's nice. It's nice to be called sexy. This is sexy. Yeah, sexy that's, is nice. That's what, and you this can keep is it. Thank you. Put it on that's your good. fridge. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it. Right there. Really? Right you there. Great. You always wear the best dresses when you come on this show. They're really lovely, vivid Thank colors. You. I well, remember I a yellow one. Yes, I did wear a yellow oh, one. It's great. And then this one is spectacular. Well, thank you. It's it, primary color time. Is it? So, I don't know. I'm just saying that. I, but I mean, I'll, next time I'll wear bright, bright blue or purple or something. I'll surprise you. Oh, you do every time. <laughs> Is it a Sex in the City thing? Do you go and see that? Did you, did you go and see the film? I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see the film. Are you a fan? Well, I don't like women. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that might work against you then. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go see it. Right, but, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna... <laughs> no, I didn't see it. No, did, I didn't. But did I you go see of... Indiana Jones? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Well, what did you do then? <laughs> Stayed at home and really? baked, and you I'm working. Bake? I'm carving a desk. You are not carving a desk. <laughs> you know nothing about desk because you were mean about this desk. I think this desk is beautiful. Right, I thank... really do. I right, think it's okay. Just gorgeous. It was made by a woman. Change your mind now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what have you? It's, uh, have you started back at work? Are you should now? Are you going to your holidays? I'm going back to. I'm going back to work soon. I'm going to Africa in a couple weeks, which wow. is very exciting. Yeah, I've never you, been. Can have you, you be ever more been? To Africa, parts of it. It's a very big place, bigger than Texas, Africa. Really? That's huge. Yeah, Where have been, you been? Well, I've been to North Africa and I've been to uh, West, East Africa, but I haven't been anywhere else. So you haven't been to South and you haven't been to West Africa. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Tanzania, so that Tanzania ought to be Tanzania would be, it's kind of in there, isn't it? It's somewhere there in the center. What are you going to do there? I look at the animals. Oh, yeah. Right. Any particular animal you're fond of? Uh, cougars. Ah. <laughs> I think you're going to the wrong place, to be honest. <laughs> what about, uh, do you, are you a fan of the exotic holidays? Yeah, I've been on a few fancy vacations. We actually made a list of places we wanted to visit with our kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And as they're getting older, sort of knocking things off the list, Africa being one of them. Right. We went to the Maldives recently. Oh, that I'd was like cool. to go there. Oh, really? Yes. Is All it right. nice? Yeah, it's great. Go there. Do you go the Because I like scuba diving. Do they oh, my God. Then really go there. Well, that's why I wanted to go, because a lot of it is underwater. Yeah, and some of it's on top of the water. It's good. Well, that's where Is you it? have to put your equipment. And... Yeah, you put your equipment on top, and then you dive under. Yes. But uh, it takes forever to get there. It's like 24 hours. It's bad. Really? Yeah, it takes forever to get there. But I took Singapore Airlines, and right. I'm not a spokesperson for Singapore Airlines. Are you I'm sure? Because yeah. that red dress. <laughs> tell you that is the best airlines I've ever been on in my really life. Really? Singapore Airlines? Oh my god, spectacular. Well, why is it so great? Uh, Friendliness? All the ladies are all so pretty and it, that's not really why, but they're actually they are very pretty. But what I mean is is the, the, the planes are clean and the in-flight entertainment is fantastic this and the food like is delicious. sounds like 25 years ago or something like that you're talking about. What are you talking about? Well, in about? America they used to have planes like that. Now, you know, you get on a oh, plane it's no, like... But, but, yeah. But I mean, and even the food is good and they bring out like sushi that's really good. And sushi stuff. on a plane? Yeah, I swear what to you. With, yeah, and it comes in a little, you know, what do they call the bento box? And Wait, wait, wait. We're not talking about coach, are we? <laughs> ah, women of the people once more. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. They got a little bento box, and these attractive women yeah, bring you animals that you can enjoy. <laughs> Do you I, go no, scuba wait. diving? Let's try that. Is no, it a first I tried, class scuba I tried, diving? I tried scuba diving once. I was so scared. I was out of my mind. You know what I saw the whole time I was underwater? What? The ass of my instructor. <laughs> that is the truth. I really did, and it was a wonderful ass. But I, I am telling you, I was so terrified that I just thought I've got to stay with this guy, and I was... <laughs> this close to his butt the whole time. I didn't look around. I was just freaked out. Did you blow bubbles right at his ass? 
<laughs> he blew him at me. Uh. <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I no, like I quite like that. It's a late-night talk show. We do stuff like that. I hear you just bought a house. Ah. Yeah, well, that's what we do here. Ah. Did you just buy a house? Hey, wait a minute. No, what? I didn't. Okay. But what about the White House Correspondents' Dinner? What was I, that like? It was awesome. I liked it. You did? Yes, yes, it was fine. The only trouble was I realized afterwards that, the, the um, I mean, they were very gracious and very kind to me, and I don't want to appear, you know, in any way negative about it, but I realized afterwards that, you know, President Bush, the current president, is the least popular president in the history of presidents at the moment. And so he was wait like... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't know that before you well, went... Well, I had a rough idea. <laughs> so what happens is... <laughs> so he comes over and he's like, Hey, Greg, let's get a photograph. And I'm like, no, I, I'm good. You're busy. <laughs> No, of course not. He's still the president. Yeah, it's the, it's the, the president. The, it's the president. And I was, you know, I'm a new American. It's a great honor for me to be asked. I yes, was, it is indeed. Yeah, I, have you ever been? No, and I would love to go, but I'll wait for the ne next uh, administration. Ah. Yes, I think that I well, will. Well, they're not going to have one until the next administration, yeah. so you're covered. Yeah, I You're going to go to the next one then? Well, I don't know. I'd have to be invited. I hope they invite me. Yeah, they'll invite you, yeah. I got some, I got some, well, I used to have some pool down there. I think come November it's gone. But the, uh... <laughs> What about the... But, but, wait a minute, let me ask you something. Who was, besides President Bush, who was really fun to meet? Was there anybody that was, like, incredible to meet when you were there? Y yeah. Who? Dana Perino. <laughs> <laughs> who? Dana Perino. Okay. She's the White House uh, oh. mascot. The mascot? Yeah. <laughs> she's the mascot. Yeah, she's yeah, the yeah, one yeah. see the press secretary. Yeah, she's oh, lovely. Oh, the new one that well, she's married to a, she's, yeah, 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 she's yeah, married yeah. to a Scottish yes, man. Yes, yes, Oh, I see. So I like talking to her because she had some questions that I could answer for her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that made sense to me. They were, right. they were very friendly to me. So I always viewed it as the White House Correspondents Dinner was kind of like um, a night off. It was like soccer in the trenches. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like the yeah. night when you put all the politics aside and it's meant to be a night off. Yeah. So that's the way I viewed it when I went down there. Yeah, of course. But you don't feel that way. What do you mean I don't feel that way? Well, I'm just saying something contentious to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> it worked, it worked. Yeah. No, I have never been, but I'm don I would actually love to go because it's just such a, a completely different universe. I had this experience once because I've done some, uh, you know, f helping to campaign and stuff for Who's various... Uh, you mean right now? Yeah. Well, for Barack Obama, I would Ah, do. I see. <laughs> Barack Obama in other elections, I've done work on behalf of other Democrats, and I had this experience once where the it was the, the weekend, and the phone rang. It was like it was like Sunday, and and I was upstairs, and my husband was in the kitchen, and he was like cleaning up after breakfast. He's gonna love you telling this. What? Yeah. No, he's a, he, he's very helpful. All right. And so and the phone rings, and he answers the phone, and he goes hello, and he goes uh, hello, Brad. This is oh, I can't do the voice at all. Uh, this is uh, Barbara Al Bush. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, this is this is Al Gore. Whoa! And, wait, and yeah. so we and but it, it didn't quite sound like that. It sounded really like Al Gore. Right. But we have a very good friend from college who's. I see where this is going. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is exactly where it's going. Who's wow. a great impersonator, and so of course he thought it was Gary, and so he said, "Oh, hey, Al, how's it hanging?" "Oh, it's fine, thank you. Um, we're just here in uh, Carthage." You go, "Oh, yeah, Carthage. Yeah, you moved your offices down to Carthage, Tennessee. Boy, that was a boneheaded move, wasn't it?" He says, <laughs> and he says, "Well, we're hoping it's going to work out for us." Uh, and 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 this continues, and and he says, "Well, I was well, hoping I could uh, speak with Julia." if she's available and he goes yeah well, you know what hang on just a second I'm just finishing scouring this pan you don't mind do you? and he puts a phone down because it's Gary right he's goofing off with Gary and he starts scrubbing the pan he puts it he doesn't even put him on hold he just puts the thing down so he can hear the water running he's whistling and stuff like that he goes I I'll get and then he picks it up yeah you know what I'll get her in just a minute I think she's in the toilet hang on and he puts it back down so cleaning cleaning blah 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 and then he picks it back up uh, hello? He goes, yo, this is Al Gore. <laughs> and all of a sudden it dawned on him. It really was Al Gore? Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so he went tearing upstairs, and I was upstairs, and he comes in just blanched. And he goes, I think it's really Al Gore on the phone. I thought it was Gary. You've got to pick it up. You've got to do something. Anyway, so then it was and like... And then, uh, then it was it. See, that, that I, right there, though, I think there's your problem. Because if Al Gore was really president material, he'd go, like, call me back. <laughs> Maybe. That's your problem. That's a president right there.
A president would be like, I don't have time for this crap. Call me back. Showbiz. Well, yeah. You know. Of course, he's got a Nobel Peace Prize sitting on his Well, desk. yeah, for peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's for peace. Yeah. Yeah, but like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. that's too peaceful. Yeah, it's very, You're going to end up with a Nobel peaceful. Peace Prize. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You are quite active, aren't you? Do you ever worry that uh, the, the people that disagree with you will not watch your show and stuff like that? I sometimes think that. But then I realize they don't watch anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Pretty much in the same boat. Yeah, no, just no, I'm doing kidding. Great. No, our show's doing great. No, I don't worry about that because you know I don't. Uh, uh, I don't tell people what to do. Right. I mean, I really don't. I do. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's your problem. I know. I do have a lot of problems. Yeah. Right. What yeah. do you? When do you tell people what to do? During sex. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a lot. Well, I ask first. Oh, I ask, ask and politely? then I ask politely. But if it doesn't happen, then I demand. <laughs> You're a cat. Man. I am. <laughs> You're a cat. I am. We gotta go. <laughs> the Leah Lee Dreamers, everybody. Give me right, Mark.